But the Bibb County Sheriff's Office says they're seeing a rise in assaults inside the jail, many of them stabbings. Anthony Montalto spoke with family members of the two victims and jail leadership to find out why. Major Eric Woodford says there were at least six stabbings inside the jail just this month. Now the families of two of the victims say they want answers about why this happens so frequently. He started out crying. I'm like, I didn't think nothing of it. And she told me that my son was stabbed. Beat up, then uh, stabbed. Two mothers both begging for answers after their sons were assaulted in the Bibb County Jail. Latonya Lewis and Priscilla Smith say they struggled to get information after deputies say their sons were beaten and stabbed inside. And I'm questioning everyone on that shift. I'm questioning the guards. I'm questioning the one that was standing back looking. Why are y'all letting this happen at LEC? Major Woodford says their cases are some of the latest in a string of assaults in the jail. Woodford says last July, there were only two. The tempers, the attitude, what's on the outside tends to spill over to the inside. He says anything could cause a jail fight and they do their best to stop them. Woodford says deputies make rounds at least every hour and a half and someone is constantly watching security camera feeds. But sometimes it all happens too quick. It only takes the offender minutes, seconds to get into an altercation. The Snapchat video you saw was of Smith's son, Christopher. She says Christopher is now in his own space as he recovers, but the experience left her and her family shaken. I'm praying every day that when he went in there, he was alive. I'm praying to God and when he's out, that he is alive. Smith says she's planning legal action in the future and just wants something done. She's calling for a full inspection of the jail and all its procedures. In Macon, Anthony Montalto, 13 WMAZ News. Major Woodford says in situations like these, they give medical attention to the injured inmates and disciplined inmates who start the fights. He says each case gets a thorough investigation, which may include additional charges. Major Woodford says many of the cases we asked about involve superficial wounds, but some inmates were taken to the hospital to get checked out. So you would think.